Hey guys, how's it going? Well, told you I'd do a little bit more in-depth detail on these motor turbos. Uh, finally made a breakthrough the other night uh, and figured out how to program these radios up. It's not as difficult as I thought. I said they were a nightmare. They're only a nightmare because I didn't uh, have that much time to go into the CPS. I did get some new side contact desk covers for these bad boys. Uh, these are both Q-split radios. <coughs> I said that they were uh, S. One was an S-split. They're both Q-split. 403 to 470. Uh, right now, I've got all the channels loaded into them. You can name your channels and all that in the CPS. Uh, you can do firmware upgrades on these. Uh, if you've got the cable and if you've got the CPS, uh, I believe you go to the Moto, the Motorola online site, and you can pick up the firmware. They will actually, I believe, they will actually provide that firmware to you for free. They should have done that on the 5000s, but you know Motorola. Anyway, you've got your contact list, your scan. You can turn scan on and off view and edit your scan list. I'm not going to turn it off. Your zones. I've only got a couple of zones run into these. You've got your digital channels. Zone 1. And I thought I programmed another zone into this. I may or may not have. Uh, TX high low power and let's see here you can see the L let's go ahead and go up with high power scan goes on and off I've got monitor set to, oh, this is set to zone. Let me see what else. Utilities, radio settings, talk around, alerts and tones. All tones, you can silence the keypad, and let me go back in. Your power settings, your backlight, I'm not going to turn it off. Squelch, normal. I don't believe I've set this tight. I think it's just normal. Go back. Your intro screen. You can turn on or off. Keypad lock. Of course, you can turn on and off. Language. English. I don't believe I've chosen another language. LED status indicators. You can turn on or off. Vox for voice operated transmissions can turn on, on and off. It depends on uh, the board on your radio. But a lot of good things on these radios. I think they're very viable radios. It's just a matter of still doinking around with it. Password lock. You can set a password to this, but I don't see any point in that. Tones and alerts. Well, let's go back. These hold, I believe I'm going to go out on a limb because I haven't looked at CPS in a couple of days. I think it's 96 channels. I could be wrong. 
so don't quote me on that. Uh, this is actually set. I've got two zones, yeah. <laughs> two zones programmed in. I'm going off the second zone. And these are all programmed in. And they talk to each other just fine. Check, check, check. Let me see, I'm not sure. Check, check, check. about that. You can set these up to do different things. Uh, they come with impressed batteries. This is a 6500, this is 6550. These are good for security companies, construction, uh, some police businesses you have a full DTMF keypad you can do text messaging on these uh, I actually put a text message on here but I'm not sure how to get to it just a simple text message I'm not going to be able to get to it my battery's running low I can see that uh, contact list you can actually edit your contact list for MDC and quick call you can send your uh, text messages back and forth. You can do a lot of things with these radios. I'm barely scratching the surface. In fact, I really haven't even touched the full capabilities of these radios. Very good units. Very good units. They're lightweight. They're quick. They're easy. And they work very well. I do like the larger push to talk on here. And you've got your man down button. I've got that set to nuisance delete. The keypad on here is hot. So all in all, good radios on these Moto Turbos. Real glad to be able to bust through that wall that I hit in the CPS. But I made it. And they transmit and receive just fine. The microphone's down here these switches you can actually do text messaging I think from the keypad could be wrong but I think so if not you can do it in the CPS with no problem anyway I uh, got a lot of units in it's an XTS 5000 Q split with FPP very very good radio beautiful new CMOS battery new housing, new keypad, the LCD is new, this was a new radio and everything you'd want legit tags, the whole line everything's been run through trace and I've got a lot of VHF units in, I've got about a six pack of the Q splits. I believe I've got like eight, uh, I think eight, 800 megahertz units. I did a lot of conversions last night and I'm still working on conversions on these. You've seen uh, that I use only OEM Motorola parts, the brand new parts, and there's no excuses with these radios whatsoever. These are Meadow Turbo antennas and I kind of like these. This is a GPS antenna and you can actually see the little satellite symbol. Uh, that's not a satellite symbol I don't believe. But actually there's a way to get to it. Uh, I believe I have to be on a different channel to get that on there. Meadow Turbos are good units. Oh, I don't have to that. Meadow Turbos are good units. Very good units.
for some reason, oh, there we go. Zone. One channel one. Hey, you do have a signal strength meter on these. Sorry if that's too loud for your speakers. Check, check, check. And the Q split is just a beautiful, beautiful radio. Gear I've got, radios I've got, batteries are on their way. Uh, the nickel metal hydride uh, green dot batteries that are OEM Motorola. I've got, I think, 25 of them coming in, and I needed to do that. Need to pick up some more chargers, uh, Intelli chargers, and pretty much everything is rolling very, very well. Uh, a lot of things have been happening, and all of them have been good. It's been a lot of work. Uh, I do want to thank, uh, thank a fella. He knows who he is. Uh, I really want to thank you for all you've done for me. Uh, you've gotten me over a pretty big hurdle, and uh, it's it's just really nice, uh, really nice to know that there are such good people in the radio game. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much Meta Turbo series. I still can't find the mic. It's somewhere. Somewhere in the shop. I'm not sure where. But it I believe it's an impressed mic. It could be wrong. But this is an intrinsically safe one. This one is just your standard. No, it is FM approved. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe the batteries. Ah, okay. Need to swap the batteries out. <laughs> this is the intrinsically safe battery. Needs to be on that radio. Anyway. Take it easy, guys. I hope everything's going good for you. I hope you're going to have a good weekend. And later on.